Okay, here she is, all complete, uh, put back together, 100% working condition, as you can tell by looking at it, she's extremely clean. I said in my earlier videos, I doubt this machine ever got any use. I'm seeing no sign of use anywhere. Um, what I ended up doing was, once I isolated the problem to the floppy drives, I took the armature apart again. I don't even think that's the the proper name for it. Basically, the and I'm, I can't remember the name of what that device is, but the best way to describe it is, think of it as a cylinder, then once uh, juice gets uh, run through it, get a positive charge, and there's a, a, a pole that sticks inside this armature, and um, when it polarizes, it becomes an electromagnet, and it drops that rod into the, to the solenoid, which then drops the head down. Now, inside this solenoid, what I noticed was what I think at one time was grease, but more... What it what it turned into now is um, like sand, paste, uh, dried sand is about the best way to describe it. So I cleaned it all out really good and I put in some nice lithium grease, put them back together and they both work flawlessly now. And um, I'm really, really happy about that because like I said, this machine got no, no use. So without further ado, let me go ahead and turn it on. I've already tested it and I know it works perfectly and my all my discs work uh, multi-mate works great uh, Microsoft flight simulator works great on this now I am looking for a few things I uh, like I said in my other video I want to try to restore this computer to to the identical machine that I had in my back office at the Radio Shack that I managed for a while and um, that had an external 10 meg which we upgraded to a 20 because the tandem 10 failed within the first year um, oh I, I must have missed the you don't have long t when you insert a disc and if you miss the initial boot string command uh, and you're doing that to protect the disc because I've heard from a couple different people you know that it's a fault of these machines to put a disc in while you turn the machine on. So if you miss that boot string command, you just hit the reset button and boom, it, it boots right up. And that's really just a glitch inside these machines. So like I said, I want to try to restore this to the, to the identical to the machine that I had in our back office when I used to do the books, um, which like I said, had a, a 20 meg external hard drive. I'm on the hunt for one of those. I think I have everything. I think I have the hard drive and the case I know I do somewhere in my garage I have to go through stuff I already have the controller installed on the back of this um, I have the upgrade RAM I don't know if you saw it let me reset it again uh, I've upgraded it to 384 K but I want to take it to a full 728 which is going to be difficult on this machine because you can only take it to uh, 512 with um, and with when you add the upgrade uh, memory expansion card the rest of it has to be done with a very rare I mean you can add other expansion cards but I, I, I don't have the slots for what I want to do there is a uh, mouse slot that came special mouse card that came special with this machine I'm gonna hunt for that um, because the RS-232 has to go to a uh, external modem that I'm looking for. It was a Tandy modem at the time. It was a 24, no, it was a 1200 bot. I think it might even have been slower. You know, I have to research on that. That connected directly into corporate. Um, <clears throat> so the external hard drive, the external modem, um, and the mouse card, which is gonna take up all my slots. But there was another way, and my machine had it, the one at work, Inside on the motherboard besides the two RAM cards that fit on the board, which is down on the bottom There's another expansion slot on this machine that will take it up to a full 728, but that Card is extremely rare to, and extremely hard to find looking for that. I'm looking for a CM1 color monitor I don't care what it costs if I see one where wherever I'm buying it and you 
you best not try to outbid me because <laughs> I'm getting it no matter what it what it costs me so anyway here's the machine uh, she's beautiful she runs perfect I've run uh, flight sim on it uh, it was great I ran um, multi-mate on it both drives work she's fun functioning per perfectly um, and like I said she she looks beautiful like the day she came out of the factory probably one of my cleanest which is funny because she's one of my oldest it's probably one of my cleanest computers that I have so pretty soon I'm I was just waiting on fixing this now that I got it fixed my next video is going to be all my rare machines uh, the 2000 my 1200 and a couple of other special little jewels that only came out for a very short time uh, two of them at the very end of the computer selling cycle for Radio Shack uh, no one of them is not the sensation I'm still on the hunt for that uh, ah, boy that's a hard one to find I've been looking for a sensation for years and I will bid up to the bejesus on that one as well so anyway here she is I'm excited she runs great thanks for watching see you soon on my rare Tandy computers coming up next.